Hello, 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 hello. It's your girl, Lovely the Great. And real quick, I'm going to show you guys how to put some neck bones in the crock pot. So this is going to be a real quick little recipe. I'm doing this because I am on my way out the door, getting ready to go and spend the day with my friend, Jessandra, for her birthday. This is what I promised her. And even though we're not actually going where we were planning on going, or may change, I don't know. We were going to go to the casino, but she wants to go to this fall festival on Fort Pope. So we're going to go there. And I'm, we're going to bring Game Boy because, I mean, it's for little kids. But anyway, so... Meantime, in between time, I'm going to go ahead and get my dinner started for this evening by putting it in the crock pot. All right, so I have some pork neck bones. I'm just going to rinse them off real quick. I have two packs, and they're kind of not all the way thawed out. So two nice fat packs, y'all, two nice fat packs. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse them off real quick. I have the pot part of the crock pot already over here. I'm going to lower the camera when I get back over here. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse these off real quick, and I'll be right back. Over here. If y'all haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And hit the like button in the door, in the door. Throw this away. And I have two packs, so I have this one open as well. I'm going to bring my pot over here. Just gonna do one pack, yeah. We're just gonna do enough for one pack to go in the crock pot, and then I'll just put the other ones up because that's kind of a lot. All right, so I have them in there. I'm gonna get my um onions um, and bell peppers out so I can chop those up. Hello to everybody that came in. And I don't know if y'all may have heard me say this in a previous video. I like to save all of my um, bell pepper seeds because I do a um, summer garden in the summertime. And I plant those um, seeds. So I keep them. I save them. So I do have, hopefully y'all can see, I have a nice size yellow onion. I'm going to go ahead and cut that up. And this is like real quick, y'all, because I got places to go and things to do today. So this is quick, y'all. This is quick. Hopefully, y'all can see. Let's go ahead. And this video will be uploaded to the cooking channel, the food channel. It's not going to stay on this channel. Well, it may. I might let it stay over here, but it's going over there. So I'm just basically slicing my onion up. I like my onions big, y'all, so I make big slices, not little ones. Some people like theirs, theirs you know, into really, really small chunks. I like mine big. I like, I love the onion. I can sit there and pick it out and eat it. So. And I don't actually cry when cutting onions. Sometimes I do. My eyes do get watery, but for the most part, they don't. And just as I'm saying that, they decide to get a little watery. 
All right, so we got that chopped up. We got our, our neck bones already in the um, crock pot. We just gonna toss this in there, spread it around. Yeah, I'm really getting teary now. <laughs> it's always when I open my damn mouth, y'all. When I open my mouth, that's when it fucking happens. When I don't say nothing or think about it, shit don't happen. All right, so this is a bell pepper that I already done cut some of it off for a previous um, meal. I'm just going to take some across the side here. And like I said, I do save. Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My eyes are like, what the fuck? Where are the glasses? Why aren't they shielding me right now? Type thing. There's some fucking bullshit. No, I'm just kidding, y'all. <laughs> but um, really, they are, like, literally tearing up right now. It's like, oh my God. Oh my God. If, if, if I had to cry on cue, I could cry right now for real. I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all. So I'm just chopping this up in chunks. I don't want it all puny when you can't see it. I want to see it because I like it. I like to freaking pick my shit out and eat it, okay? So that's why I like it to be kind of big. Now, when y'all see... um. Kel's in here cooking. He cut the shit out of his stuff because he like it really, really tiny. But I like mine chunky. So it is what it is. When I cook, I got chunky. When he cook, he got barely seeable. And I know that ain't even no phrase, but you know what I mean. Like you can't see that shit. You just know it's in there because you taste the flavor of it. But yeah. So we're going to take those and um, put those up in there, mix them around, make sure we save my seeds for my garden. And this upcoming uh, summer, you guys will get to see, well, I don't know, because I am going to Georgia sometime next year-ish. I just don't know when, but I'll probably plant everything in pots so it will be easier to um, transport or whatever bring with me but you guys will see me actually plant these um these bell peppers i've been saving my seeds because we eat a lot of bell peppers in my house and i don't like freaking buying it from the store when i can just take it out of my garden and if y'all have seen if y'all go back in my playlist i do have a playlist that has a lot of my gardening videos in there you'll see my bell peppers y'all my bell peppers was on point y'all my cucumbers i had a cucumber this big and this wide y'all i cannot make that shit up go look at my videos i had a cucumber that big and i did not use any kind of steroids or anything like that to make my um vegetables big okay and everything was organic i didn't put any kind of pesticides or anything like that you know what i'm saying I use, you know, stuff that's safe for my garden. So if you guys want to see that, you can just go through my playlist. There is a playlist or something like that that has all of my gardening stuff. And I got videos or whatever where I show you guys how I did my tomatoes, my corn. I had corn in my garden. I had bell peppers, um, squash, um, tomatoes i say that already i had okra but they didn't do that well this past season that past season but um in the in the past i've had some nice okra you know too i had potatoes i did potatoes in buckets y'all i did potatoes in buckets this past year um but you guys can see all of that because i have videos and you know slideshows and everything else of of the whole, you know, garden and stuff. So I'm going a little slow because my eyes are still like fucked up from the damn onions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I ain't wearing my glasses, y'all. I ain't wearing my glasses right now. So we're gonna do this a little slow. But usually to do this, what I'm doing for this, uh, for these net bones, man, five minutes, five minutes tops, y'all. I'm just stretching it, you know, for theatrical reasons or whatever. So we got that up in there. And I try to use the whole damn bell pepper. I'm gonna root it to the tootie. I'm gonna root it to the tootie, y'all. Just put that up in there. 
this little piece we can throw off to the side. Now the seasonings that we're gonna put in here, put this one, can y'all see this? Hopefully y'all can. The seasonings that we're gonna put in here are just basic stuff that you probably already have. Um, I have some season oil. You can use whatever you know brand that you use. It just so happens to be more. And I personally don't yes. care for this brand because it's got a little bit too much salt in it. But my husband picks this up all the damn time, even though I've told him get the McCormick. But he gets the Morton. Nothing wrong with Morton. I'm not down in it. Please don't be like, oh, she over there talking about y'all product. Y'all need to start. No. I just think it has a little bit too much salt. So since I know it has a lot of salt, I don't use too much of it. I'm going to be using some black pepper, McCormick. Oh, P.S. This is not a sponsored video. <laughs> I'm using some great value, one dollar Italian seasoning, some great value, um, garlic powder, onion powder, and parsley flakes. So these are the seasonings that I'm going to put in here. These are all the dry seasonings. So I'm just going to put some shakes in here. Hey, when you all do this, you do this based on your taste buds and what you like. So if you got other seasonings that you like, put those bad boys in there or whatever. Hold on. I forgot to get my, my peppers. I'm going to put a, a few little tiny baby jalapeno peppers in there too. So these are, are called trappies peppers. I'm going to put a little bit in there because I just kind of like the, the flavor. Y'all don't have to put this in here. This is just a personal thing. And plus, I'm in Louisiana and my husband likes this stuff just a tad bit spicy, okay? So, we're just going to, I'm going to pour about five of those babies in there. That's all. That's all. And I'm going to cut them up. So, they're going to be stretched. Let me just take my little knife and just cut those. I can't wait to get my knife set from Logic. <laughs> Meantime, in between time, we're just going to cut these little bad babies in to three little pieces, each one. We're just going to stretch them a little bit. These are little tiny baby peppers, y'all. Uh, but they got some kick to them. They got some kick to them. So I'm just going to kind of sprinkle them around in there like that. Now, we're going to put some of this seasoning on. And y'all, I'm kind of heavy-handed on the seasonings only because, like I say, my people like this shit where they can taste it. They don't like this stuff tasting like water. So... I'm a little more heavy-handed than the average. You know what I'm saying? This is just a little parsley flakes. Um, and I'm going to be putting some more up in here. This is just the, the first little bit of seasoning. I'm going to mix that in real good and put some more. Yeah. So this is some of the Italian. Black pepper. onion powder. Oh no, this is the garlic. I don't like the garlic. And this is the onion powder. So now, you can either take your hands and do this or you can go get a big old ass spoon and do it. But anyway, I'm just going to take my hands and kind of mix this in, y'all. Just kind of mix it around real good. Bring the meat up some and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna put the same seasonings on there again wash my hands and i'm gonna take the rest of this meat the rest of these um neck bones that i have in the sink and i'm just gonna put them in a freezer bag and do them at another time because my crock pot is not gonna hold them all and so that's what we're gonna do with those so Let's just say we're doing this recipe with one pack of um, net bones instead of two because I'm not putting both of them in here. Sometimes what I do because I'm a greedy motherfucker and I don't be want to wait. Like just say I'm making this for dinner. I'll put that rest of those in a pot on the stove and put all these same seasons in there and let it cook because it only takes like about two hours. And we'll be munching on that throughout the day while those are <laughs> getting done. But so this is a recipe for like, just say like today, Saturday, you don't want to be in the house all day Saturday. So you don't be standing over the stove 
cooking all day on Saturday. So this is just a recipe you can throw in a crock pot and get on with your life for the day and then come back later on and, you know, make your size, your rice or whatever, um, whatever you're going to put with it. So we got it nice and seasoned. Um, put more black pepper in here. And just a little bit more of the season off. So we got it nice and seasoned. I'm going to go get a cup and I'm going to put some water in there. I'm going to use a measuring cup so I can tell y'all how much water I put in there. of water in here to start off with. It doesn't mean that's what I'm going to put in there. I'm just starting off with three cups of water. Excuse me. All right. Now, once you add your water in there, it's going to kind of, your vegetables are going to kind of float a little bit or whatever. Now, I'm going to put another couple more cups of water in there. I want to be able to give y'all the answer now. Three more. So altogether, we put four cups of water in there. So now that we have our water in here, we're going to do a whole nother round of seasonings in here, y'all. A whole nother round. Now, a lot of times I put a can of cream of mushroom in here, and I also will put... Um, a packet, a dry packet of a dry packet of um, ranch, but I don't have that right now, and uh, so I won't be putting that in there. I might have the um, mushroom. Let me see. I got the mushroom. I got so much stuff in here. Yeah, the luck I have is I'm not gonna put that in there. So, a lot of times I put one can of cream of mushroom in here too. So, the cream of mushroom soup, it doesn't matter what brand it is. Um, since I don't have it, I ain't putting it. Another thing that you can put that you probably don't know or whatever is you know, like how you have the, the jars of like French onion dip for chips and stuff, you can put that in here. You can put that in here to give it a, a, just a, another onion flavor, but it's good. Um, those are just other things that I put sometimes if I have it. That's for extra flavor. The Lipton dry um, onion soup packs. You can put that in there. Okay, so we got all our seasonings in here. Now we're just going to go and put this over here. Put the top on there. We're going to put it on eight hours. Hot. I'm sorry, not eight hours, but six hours. Six hours slow. And that's going to do it. You can add... Um, when it gets down to like the last two hours, if you want to, you can actually take a cup with some water in there like this and mix in some flour and a little bit of the cornstarch to make a gravy. And then you can pour it in there when it gets down to about, like I say, the last two hours. And it can go ahead and make a gravy, a nice, you know, gravy. That's optional, you know. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I make a separate gravy and um, put my net bones in it or whatever. So it's up to you, you know, if that's what you wanna do. So hopefully you guys learned something today. And usually, like I said, because I'm talking and running my mouth, it, just, it took me so long, but Usually when I do this, it's five minutes, <laughs> not even five minutes. It's probably less than five minutes to get that in the crock pot and done and on about my business. So I'm about to go enjoy my day, y'all. 
And when I come back, I, I'm hanging out all day with Game Boy or whatever. Well, not all day, just for a few hours. And then hopefully she'll still want to go to the casino because that's what I wanted to take her to today. I want to go to the casino and I wanted to do lunch. But when I called her, she was like, oh, I kind of already made plans to take the kids to this little fall festival. Then, okay, I'll come too. I'll bring Game Boy or whatever. But I'm not going to haul Game Boy because Game Boy got other plans for the day. So. I'm just gonna bring him with me and take some pictures and you know, might go live while I'm doing that. But um, all right, y'all. Hey everybody. Let me see who all in here. Miss Cynthia, hello, sexy as fuck, hello. We're all news in the building. Hi. Yeah, kitchen clean. All right. <laughs> pretty apple. Hey, pretty apple. Hey, sissy poo. Mom loved her blue eyeshadow. He looks I got on blue. It look blue, y'all. I don't even know. I, I put it on. I thought it was like a purple color. Pink purple. But okay. Um. Oh, you got me hooked on Toy and Tune Blast. Oh, yes. I love that game. What level you on, Sexy? I'm in the 200s, and I can't get past the one that I'm on right now, y'all. Um. Hey, Anita, Anita in the building. Now, y'all, when I get back this evening, I'm going to make the rice. I'm going to make the, you know, the gravy or whatever for it. I'm going to probably do some corn on the cob um, or some kind of steamed vegetables or whatever. And I don't know, some kind of bread, maybe some, some rolls or some cornbread. I don't know. And um, we already got like a cobbler that I made the other night. I think we still got some copper. Let me see, because they be dogging stuff out around here. Yeah. Yeah, so I made I made a cobbler for my house and I made a cobbler for her house. Um, so I have still have some cobbler here, so they'll have that for tonight. And I was gonna make some ice cream this morning too. I was gonna show y'all how to do that. Um, the, the kind of ice cream that I wanted to make, some blueberry ice cream. But somebody used my um condensed um, sweet milk for something else so I don't have it and I don't feel like waiting because because if I would have made it this morning it'll be ready for tonight too because it takes eight hours so we won't be doing the, the ice cream but anyway hey King James did I say everybody okay all right y'all so I'm about to get out of here because I got plans y'all I got plans if y'all have any questions about what I did in the video today post them in the comment section if you have any recipe um request anything y'all want to see me make uh, post that in the uh, comment section as well it's going to take about six hours for this to be ready um the good thing about the crock pot is once it's done it's going to stay keeping warm for a few hours as well so if i hang out over how long i was planning on hanging out well puppy's gonna be here anyway so i can just call and be like hey go ahead and make some gravy or go ahead and do this whatever you know he'll probably just do it because this is him he might come in here and do it anyway but <laughs> um Anyway, the good thing about the crock pot is it'll just keep it warm, you know, for about, I think about four hours, if I'm not mistaken. I think it does that. It'll stay on, keep warm for about four hours. So it won't be burning your food or nothing like that. It's perfectly fine in that crock pot. It's safe, y'all. It's safe. Um, I'm going to show y'all some other crock pot uh, recipes because I use the crock pot all the time. But the next one that I'm going to do, the next live cooking is going to be using my brand new um New Wave oven that I got from my wonderful godmothers, Miss Liz Lyons, Miss Lisa Lewis, and Miss Queen Miko. I'm gonna show y'all a recipe using that the next time I go live and cook. All right, y'all. She's your lovely great, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.